Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial start of summer, and for gardeners, well, the season is really in full swing. Yeah, 207's Peggy Kaiser talked with Tom Estabrook about getting vegetables off to a good start. Well, Memorial Day weekend is already upon us, and for those of us who are gardeners, we're going to be outside work in the garden this weekend. I'm at Estabrook's in Yarmouth with Tom Estabrook. We're going to talk about vegetables which everybody wants to get in the ground. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously people have been planting vegetables for the past probably three to four weeks, uh, all your cool season things like spinach and, you know, some of your beets and, and peas and some of those things, that's early. But now with Memorial coming, it's time for your warm season like peppers and right. tomatoes. Okay. So I wanted to show you this. This is uh, interesting. This is called Mighty Mato and these are grafted tomatoes. So it's a little bit different. Um, they graft an heirloom variety okay. on a root stalk, which is more vigorous, so you get much more yield. Wow. Okay, so that's a, that's an improvement, Yeah. but you get the heirloom taste, which nice. is wonderful. Really and nice. the nice part about these, are, or one thing that's important to understand is a lot of people will bury their tomatoes deep, which mm. is a good thing for a traditional tomato, with a grafted tomato, you do not want to do that because you will lose the graft oh, and you'll okay. lose the vigor. All right. But it's time to plant your tomatoes, so that's right. one thing. So, you know, we also, it's time for squash yeah. and things like that. Now, these are grown in a quar pot. Okay, so and that does that go right in the ground with it? Correct. So yeah. you snap this plastic ring off. Right. And you can see the roots sure. are starting already to come through the bottom, so you don't have to disturb the root system on Which these. Which is a little bit more foolproof for those of us who don't really know our way around yep. the vegetables too much. Yeah, yeah, it's a great way to kind of start off all your vine crops. Okay, great. I also wanted to talk about staking, okay, yeah. because you're not really thinking staking when you're buying the plants, but you should be because right. all of these materials are in short supply. Okay. So think about picking them up when you're buying your plants so you have them for later. Okay. So stuff like bamboo stakes sure. or bamboo hoops right. or your infamous tomato cages. The beautiful Last cages. Last year we saw a huge influx of shortage on these. No kidding. So, you know, you can always use your jute twine sure you know to tie it up nice and exactly gently. or some sort of trellis netting okay. too okay. so a lot of different options and but it's important all support the plants yes. and lastly with vegetables it's important to think about fertility not overfeeding if you overfeed you get too much foliage and not enough fruit okay okay so important to use like a garden tone or a costa main stonington blend um, but only side dress the rows if the plants need fertilizer if they're okay. green and healthy and happy don't you fertilize don't have them. to do anything exactly you really just have to water them and keep yep. an eye on them yep excellent good advice thank you as you're always. welcome